Hi guys, I hope you're all well. This is Rob for the Exit Light channel. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Hope you're all nearly ready for Christmas. We're nearly there now, nearly end of November. What we're going to be doing today is sort of a precursor to a podcast we're actually doing tomorrow morning. Um, the, the, it'll all become more clear tomorrow. But what we're going to do today is just have a quick, quick talk and let you know what's been going on and a little bit about the podcast we're going to be doing tomorrow. Before I start, can you do me a massive favour? Can you um, hit that like button for us? It really helps Tracy, really helps the channel. And if you're not, subscribe and hit the little bell and so you'll be notified of any new content that's coming out. Um, you've got three options when you hit the bell. So just hit the, well you choose basically, but I would hit the bell, the, the option that tells you all the time when any content's coming, any content's coming out because we have some really good content coming out all the time. Anyway guys, what we're going to be talking about today and what the podcast is going to be about tomorrow. Firstly, before I start, Tracy's been really poorly. She's out of hospital now. I'm sure she's going to tell you all about what happened and what's wrong with her tomorrow. I'd like to thank everyone. Um, I've been a little bit under the weather. I'd like to thank everybody for their support and the good looks and get well. Really, really helps. So God bless you all for that. Thank you. And I know Tracy still feels the same way. Um, especially, I'd like to give a shout out to Mad Maker. Thank you, mate. You're a star. Um, and everybody else. So what we're going to be talking about today is near-death experiences, NDEs, as a, as a abbreviated to. Now, I don't know if anyone we've we've touched on this before. I don't know if anybody has um, had an experience, any kind of experience, or knows of one of their family members who have actually had one of these experiences. Basically, it's when you are having an operation, when you may be in a, an accident, you die. You are clinically dead for a period of time, whether it be a few seconds or a few minutes, and they bring you back. It is, the, it is that, that experience from you dying to you being brought back to life. It's what happens in that time. Um, there are lots and lots of theories Science thinks that it's just basically chemicals that get released by the brain, and it's all just um, it's all just basically a chemical reaction to death. I tend not to believe in that. I haven't had a near death experience, but I tend not to believe in that. Um, there, they, there are accounts going back to. Well, there are there are accounts going back millions and millions of years, basically, from um, before BC up till really, really far back. It's crazy. Um, I'm stuttering a bit because I'm trying to think of these statistics, but there are lots and lots and lots of accounts from all across the world. Um, before people could get, before people could just jump on a on a plane, and fly to the other side of the world, there are written accounts, of near death experiences, and something that I did find out that I didn't know, I found really really interesting, um, when blind and deaf people have, made it maybe have operations, um, they have the same experience, but in the experience they can hear, and they can see. Now, if you're dealing with a person who has been bright, blind and deaf since birth, how will they know they're seeing? How will they know they're hearing? It's, um, it just really gets my juices flowing. I really, really find it interesting. Now, what I would like to to talk about not only 
with a near-death experience, but has anybody who is listening to this been really, really poorly, really high fever, really, 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 really poorly, maybe in hospital? I'll, I'll tell you about my experience quickly. I, a long few years ago, um, when, when the, the swine flu epidemic was was was, uh, was rife in the UK, I got really, really poorly, and they believed that I had swine flu, so I was isolated, and I was basically so poorly that I near, near enough went into a coma. Um, I was in the ICU under quarantine and I can remember being able to see my wife through the window and also and the fact that I was in quarantine is really really important here because obviously the doctors and nurses were coming in to see me but all the time I was there there was a black figure like a shadow figure in the room with me. Moved around the room and but moved around the room like in slow motion. And it's something that I'll I will always remember. So the point of what I'm, the point I'm trying to get at, is there anyone out there who has had a similar experience when they've been ill? Because I think well, me and Tracy think that there may be some links because Obviously, when you die, you're not in control of your your body. You're not able to fight, physically fight anything. And when you're really, really poorly, whether it be in a coma, whether it be really, really poorly with flu or a really, really bad cold, your, your body isn't able to have that fight or flight mode and that natural reaction to... I'm going to run away or I'm going to stand my ground, I'm going to fight. And I think that there may be some links. I don't know. I would be intrigued to know from you guys what you think. Um, Yeah, if you've had any experiences or you know of anyone who's had an experience, please, please, please let us know in the comments. And obviously we're going to do the podcast tomorrow. Um. Excuse me. For those of you, for those of you that don't know, I'm in the UK, in Cornwall. Tracy's in America, so we're going to be doing the podcast um, early hours. So it works out. It's both convenient. Well, it's not really convenient for me, but it's the most convenient time. But um, yeah, we're going to be doing look going into this in in a lot more. Um, looking at it more in in depth and i can't wait it's going to be a really really good podcast this so guys i'm going to wrap up as i said it was really really quickly it's a really really quick one i would like you to smash that like button if you could and obviously if you're not subscribed please subscribe I thank you very much for all the good will or good get well soon messages. Tracy will tell you herself tomorrow. So guys, look after yourselves, look after each other. God bless and I will speak to you again soon. Bye bye.